Welcome to Ritual Scale Modeling. This is part two of Airfit's Blackboard Buccaneer S2C. Scale is 172. In the first part was the introduction and I just um, went on a little bit about what's inside the box uh, and um, also mentioned um, my up and coming mistakes. So just to reiterate this again, I bu built this kit uh, a few weeks ago and um, I wasn't sure whether I was going to um, put this um, video up and show you the kit because I had made various mistakes, very large mistakes actually and um, I made a, a peg zero, I made a, a complete mess of the build but then I thought you know what I'm going to show it because we all have bad days and uh, this one was a particular bad build for me but what the heck, I'll just show it anyway and maybe someone can uh, learn something. So in part two, um, I'm actually beginning the build, starting off with the cockpit. So let's jump into this and see how we get on. So I'm beginning with the cockpit seat. So just a little bit of cleaning up to do, first of all. And then the two parts come together. There's not much to the um, cockpit seat itself. Uh, just the two main parts together initially. The seat is painted in Humbro 165 medium C grey. Then the cushions is 85 coal black by Humbro. And this is a, a little insert that goes on inside the actual seat itself. The middle section is 155 hollow drop Humbro. And once the paint's dry, I can uh, place the insert in. There's uh, two seats, um, as you can see here, but that just pops into the centre without any issues. I'm now attaching the landing gear bay on the underside of the uh, cockpit area. And then it's the back bulkhead that uh, goes onto it. This also goes in at an angle. Uh, there's a lot of location points for it, so that you can't get mixed up. And the landing gear bay is painted in Humbro 196 light grey. I'm using Humbro's 87 steel grey for the um, actual cockpit itself. Now this is not really a steel grey colour, it's a, a more of a flat grey um, and in between a medium and light grey. Some decals going on to the um, seat here in the cockpit. This is uh, the control uh, panels for the left and right of the pilot and then the instrument panel. You really can't see much of this once it's in the cockpit so don't worry if you can't get it right. So now to fit the seats. Um, the back seat, um, I'm not putting any um, cement on it, I'm just uh, pushing it in to, to see how the fitting goes. There's a good chance that I'm going to have to move this around. In fact I did in the end um, have to move it slightly uh, when I fit the canopy. So if you place it right on the back of the bulkhead, um, the top will just um, encroach on the canopy. The um, the lower one for the actual pilot seat, that was okay, hence why I cemented that in. And then the two control panels, I did cement these, uh, both of these in. The, the, the one in the rear of the cockpit, actually I had trouble with that once I was placing the um, canopy on. It was encroaching on a little bit. It was, it was first of many mistakes that I uh, was uh, talking about in the intro that I had done. Um, I just placed it in the wrong position. I'm using Humbro 87 steel grey once more for the side of the cockpit walls. And it's time to fit the cockpit and that just uh, went in very easily. Nice little location points for it to sit against. Uh, no problems whatsoever. And we did it just making sure that the back bulkhead lines up with the fuselage. So it's time to add a little bit of weight in the nose cone. Uh, you really have to do this if you have the landing gear down because it will tail sit otherwise. I'm just using a little bit of plasticine here to place it in. Now I'm using this plasticine at my own risk. I have been told that plasticine can actually eat away at the plastic over time. Now I've never experienced this, but um, if some person, if some people have, then there's a chance that it could happen. So just bear that in mind. If you're using plasticine, it has something to add weight with. And now the uh, plasticine is done in two halves of the fuselage, it's time to put 
the fuselage together. This went uh, together beautifully well. I uh, didn't need uh, much um, holding uh, to get it uh, set. There is obviously a little um, location points um, uh, around the seam of the um, two halves for you to line up. And once it was dry, I'm just giving it a light sanding uh, to take away any uh, seam lines. So I'll, I'll be using a rough sander first, then uh, going down the grid. And the last thing I'm going to be doing uh, on this uh, in part two is uh, cutting off the wings so they are uh, going up in the folded position. So I'm just taking my pencil here and going over the groove mark uh, on the fuselage. That's just to highlight the area where I'm going to cut, just makes it a little bit easier. Now I'm cutting on the outside because that's where the marking is. There's no marking on the inside to do this. So I, I had a look at it and I thought it was best to do it from the outside because there is a natural line uh, for it to do so. Unfortunately, air flakes didn't carry on that line on the underside. So I'm simply just taking my knife and um, pressing it down lightly and uh, going over my markings and doing a straight cut. So while I'm doing this, I'll, I shall end the, the video. Um, things are starting to go wrong at this point. You, you, you noticed on the cockpit there with the seats and, and things like that. As I said, that's the first of many, many mistakes. The, the actual um, cutting of the wings went rather well. I was quite pleased with that. But um, as I said, that's the start of them. In part three, I'll be uh, building the um, intake uh, onto the main fuselage. And that's where the real problems start for me. So in the meantime, if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel and um, see if there's something there that you like. If you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button and um, you'll be notified of all my upcoming builds and then ongoing builds of course. Hit that like button, leave a comment and don't forget to share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.